Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, we're talking about the 2018 NFL Draft Class, specifically Ryan Nall, running back out of Oregon State. Uh, so today, today's video, we're basically going to do a production profile and athleticism profile on Ryan Nall. I have addressed him in a previous video when I did the listeners request channel uh, episode. And I figured, you know what, we need to do a full profile on this guy because there was some very intriguing things that came out of the combine and some other intriguing things based on data that I wanted to get out there as well when it came to him. Uh, as far as him potentially being an outlier um, in the data. So that's what this video is really going to come down to is, is outliers in the data and why Ryan Nall could be an outlier to become a multiple Pro Bowl running back at the next level. Um, so first off, if you're new to the channel and you're new to the work that I do, all terms and definitions will be in the description. Uh, so again, if you're not familiar with uh, a lot of the things that I do when it comes to market share data or explosive or body strength scores and stuff like that, uh, just feel free to go to the description and all the information will be there. Um, so first off, when you get to Ryan Nall's production profile, this is where he ran into a couple of issues. Um, only had a 59.40 out of 100 market share production score. Uh, which doesn't put him in the all-pro threshold or five-time Pro Bowl threshold, but does put him in the three-time Pro Bowl threshold, which is something that I did point out in a previous video. And the only concern with the 59.40 out of 100 is that when you get to the averages at the position, so the average all-pro score, the average Pro Bowl score, and average starter production score, um, he's pretty much below average compared to what the average Pro Bowl score and average starter score is um, by a, a pretty big margin. However, one thing I did note, which I didn't note in the other video, which I want to note now, um, is that there are a couple running backs that are very close to him based on his production profile. Uh, one running back in particular is Arian Foster, uh, running back uh, out of Tennessee, who also went to the Houston Texans and became a multiple Pro Bowl running back. Uh, and again, uh, he didn't quite become a All-Pro running back uh, or even like a... I'm not sure, he probably maybe he hit five time Pro Bowls. I'm not 100. I have to double check on that. However, uh, the basic thing when it comes to Aaron Foster is that in many ways he was an outlier in the data. He was a guy that didn't quite hit above average production, uh, but did end up going on to be a very very high quality running back at the next level uh, for various different reasons. And I think when you look at Ryan Nall uh, in terms of his style, his size, all those other sort of traits, uh, his ability to catch the football out of the backfield and do those other sort of things. There's a lot of similarities between Ryan Nall and Aaron Foster, all the way down to not running the fastest 40 ever. You know, like Ryan Nall definitely didn't run the fastest 40 ever, but definitely ran uh, fast enough to be interesting. Um, and not only that, when you get to Ryan Nall's athleticism traits, uh, this is his explosive lower body strength score, speed score, and flexibility score. Um, he had a 70.43 explosive lower body strength score, a 66.39 speed score, and an 88.25 flexibility score. Um, based on my data since the 1999 NFL draft class when it comes to running back athleticism data, you only need one 79 or higher athleticism trait in order to become an all-pro slash pro bowl running back. Uh, again, the vast majority of those running backs, uh, pretty much 95% of every multiple all-pro slash pro bowl running back ended up becoming... Uh, a pro bowler slash all pro player with 179 or higher athleticism trait. So essentially Ryan Nall has all pro slash pro bowl athleticism traits with this flexibility testing. He didn't quite hit it with the explosion testing or the speed testing, but he did hit it with the flexibility testing. And this is really, really important uh, because the only running back to not hit the all pro slash pro bowl threshold in terms of athleticism testing was Arian Foster. Um, he was the only one who did not hit that trade. He's also someone who, based on his production data, didn't look that fantastic. But I think when you look at Ryan Nall, you're basically looking at an Arian Foster with much better athleticism traits coming out of college. And I think that this speaks to the fact that if you're looking for a running back in this class who has the potential to be the next Arian Foster, to be that type of player based on data, I think Ryan Nall is your guy. I think when it comes to Ryan Nall... You have the size characteristics you're looking for at the position. You have the athleticism characteristics you're looking at the position. And then, of course, his production profile isn't amazing. But I think in the right system with the right scheme, if he was to go to like a ZBS scheme, uh, if you went to San Francisco even, uh, you know, San Francisco 49ers, and they got Ryan Nall in there, I think there's a potential that he could be a fantastic running back and bring you tons of value as a, as a, as a guy who can catch the ball in the backfield. Uh, on top of having the ability to rush the football and do those other sort of things. 
Um, so overall, that's just why I wanted to mention Ryan Nall. I think on film, he's a fantastic player on film. And I think that when you look at his overall production profile, there's a lot of positive things uh, to point to. There's a lot of negative things as well. But I think when you look at the big picture with him, I think he, he should be considered um, one of the better running backs in this draft class. And if you miss out on the top five guys in this class, I would not hesitate to draft Ryan Nall based on his athleticism testing and also based on his production testing. And of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. You can find my other work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Geometrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, share this video as well with anybody that you know. Hit that notification button so that you're always reminded when another video of mine drops. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.